everybody what happened. Wait, my knee. Oh, you're so brave. two big bags of books to bring back. I think there's only three books on the whole shelf, so we're probably gonna have to go choose some books for Sebastian. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't really choose books for Jax. I don't know what he's read. He's gotta put them on hold, but he's gotta let you books and books yeah, he's still but... working on. Oh, it is black and white car. Yeah, it looks like they fixed the car with a different color piece. Anyway, it is so hot. I thought we were gonna get a break from the humidity and the heat index, but no, it's gonna be like, I think it's already 105 heat index and it's only 11.30. So we will be doing the library and then going over to the shopping center, getting really big iced teas and just walking in the shade until we get enough steps. I'll probably need a big cup. <laughs> we'll see. taking our shopping center walk. This guy's having a cookie, so he is maskless. I'm take, making sure not to go near people. I've got a mask. But we are down here at the end, having our little drink break before we walk back. That is no longer needed in the world. It's needed, but I'm letting you eat. You're allowed to take it off to eat, and I'm keeping you away from people. Once you're done eating, we gotta put it back on. Yeah, it's so hot. My thing will not connect, it's just disconnecting unless I keep the app open. So I have auto lock off on my phone. My poor phone is gonna burst into flames soon, but I'm gonna stop recording so I can go back to the app and keep on tracking my steps. Hi guys, we are about to do nap time. Excuse my super dusty mirror. <laughs> we need to clean up here, but we've been focusing our free time on cleaning the storage room. So I don't know how soon this will happen, but hopefully soon. I'm still in exercise clothes because I was out walking today with this guy. He rode for most of it, but that you did walk one lap, right? One lap down and back. Oh, it was hot, 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 hot. Uh -uh. There's no way we could have done it without those icy cold drinks. I had an iced coffee, almost entirely decaf. There's like three shots of espresso in it and I got one that had caffeine and then Two bit head now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, somebody got their bobby early. I thought we were playing. Well, we are. Yeah, the bobby's for sleep. So, looks like we're gonna play Duplos. I've got the piggy wiggy. Piggy, He's ready piggy. for his nap. Piggy. piggy. Oh. He's piggy, yep. Well, we've got a little bit of a well, mess going on here. Well, it, Aqua name is Ziggy. Ziggy Stardust. 
And the spiders from Mars. Did we listen to that song today? Yeah. The green plays guitar, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go play and do nap. Yeah. Are you being nice right now? <laughs> Why aren't you napping? <laughs> <laughs> just switched our TV service to YouTube TV and we don't have their profile set up yet on the downstairs TV so they put a hold on their popsicle eating and came up to watch their show because Sebastian needs to get to bed. I was going to get him to bed right now at 8 but because we just wasted 15 minutes trying to figure out how to even switch profiles it was like a little invisible circle because I guess it was a profile picture and it wasn't there. It was invisible because none was set. So yeah, we ran out of time. He's too tired to even eat his popsicle and he's a little shook up from scraping his knee. What he was doing was trying to jump up and get a leaf while we were walking through an alley and he was jumping right on the edge of the street and kind of, there's like a two inch drop. So he landed on the edge and went down on his knee. Not too bad when we cleaned it up, it's just a few little vertical scrapes. But he's not used to it. He's not used to the feeling of the band-aid and the show should distract him. Not that he deserves it because he's been a disaster. It's been a rough one. <clears throat> it just kind of derails the whole day and makes everybody miserable because he's just a disaster after that. Especially when I put all the time in, I play with him for half an hour, I do books with him for another half an hour, and then I'll wait with him for like another half an hour trying to get him to fall asleep, and usually he does, but it was a two hour process and then he just all of a sudden started hitting and pulling and ripping the blankets off the bed, and if I get up he would try to claw and yank at me. Oh, it was the worst. Then his brother came in trying to be nice and saying he would play with him and stuff if he would nap. But when he tried to leave, he was trying to slam the door on him and yank him back. And oh, I think he's going through something developmental and we just have to tough it out, but it's, it's hard. Anyway, our day was getting up, having breakfast. My husband ordered bagel shop. We hadn't had it in a little while. And then Sebastian and I went and took care of the library books. We had all those plus a little bit onto that shelf. So we returned a ton. We only had like half of this left. And then he only had one on the whole shelf. Jack's had two. 
So we just grabbed the rest of those in about five minutes that we were there. I didn't even film, we were just going as fast as we can because there actually were two other families in the children's section. Usually we're lucky and there's nobody else. Everybody was wearing masks though. And they were mostly sticking together, but they were kind of spreading out wide, which makes it tricky. I always manage to go the wrong way up the aisles. Like the way they put the arrows is just not naturally how I walk through the library. And I've been going there for 10 years, the same library. So it just feels really unnatural. But yeah, we got the books and there's just absolutely no way we could do any sort of outside walk without lots of fluids and lots of shade. So because the forest walk does involve a really long sunny stretch, it was just too much to do that. Can't do that when the heat index is over 100. We just masked up, got our iced teas, well, I got an iced coffee, and walked back and forth in the shopping center. If I could show you the map, I would. It's literally just a red line going like this. My dumb Fitbit is not working. I had to turn off the auto lock on my phone and leave it open to the app the whole time so that it would actually track my walk. Otherwise, it no longer stays connected. It's super, super, super frustrating and my phone felt like it was gonna burst into flames. Ugh. I mean, my screen time already says it's on more than it's off because I keep it on all night as, an al as like a clock because I can't see the clock across the room. And then I have it on filming time lapses for like hours at a time. Those little clips of you seeing us cook and stuff, it'll be a whole hour and it goes down to like 30 seconds. <laughs> so yeah, having to leave it on even more. Yay, thanks. I just can't wait to get something new. I don't know how an Apple watch will work for me, but it'll be nice to try something different because every day I search for the same problems I'm having on the Fitbit and people just complain and the posts will be like a year old or they'll be new or they'll be a year old and there's new comments saying they're still having this problem. It's so annoying, but I have to wait until an Apple Watch goes on sale because they are so expensive. Yeah, so did our walk. Sebastian wanted to keep going because he was mostly riding in a stroller, but it was so hot and it was 12.30 and I needed to get home and keep going on a day because I was innocently thinking that we were gonna nap and we needed to get home. Hmm. Yeah, so I wasn't hungry because I had a bagel with egg and then most of a small muffin for breakfast. I was set, I was set for the day until like around four I had some crackers. So they had a snack and we went through the torture that was the non-nap time. And then I was just so, so annoyed by the time we were done that I went down and I just tried to work on some perler beads and chill and let Sebastian try to calm down by himself. He was very needy and kept coming in as if, dude, we just need to play and we need to give each other space. But eventually he calmed down um, my husband is still working, he came up to eat, but he has something broken and one of the servers that he maintains and it's causing other problems, so he's stuck fixing it. We decided to just order food, we have one more sun basket and we're just not feeling it. I'm probably going to use the ingredients my own way. It came with tofu and some sort of a noodle, probably some veggie, so. I'll definitely use the tofu. Just, we made everything else work for us, but we're just not feeling this cold noodle tofu salad thing. I don't know. So we ordered Mediterranean. That was one of the things I was craving. I can always eat hummus. I love it so much. My stomach lately has been bothered by it. So I took my Beano with it and I'll probably take a preemptive yeah, sex <laughs> when I right before bed to see if that helps because usually right before bed is when hummus kicks in the bothering me. I can go stretches where I can just eat it all day, every day, literally every single day. And then all of a sudden it'll just devastate me and I can't eat it for a month. And that was starting to bother me last week. 
I laid off it. I did have some today. I like to dip the falafel in it. So we'll see how it goes. I wish my intestines luck. Uh, after dinner, I walked with Sebastian a little bit as you saw. We were talking about doing better. And then he had his scrape. And then it was just about blood and how the blood brings our oxygen around our body. Everything's a teachable moment. When you're a homeschooler, you're used to over explaining, I should say. But it's good to stick learning in wherever you can. It also makes it less scary to know that the blood is doing its job. Yeah, we came home. I put some hydrogen peroxide. No warning, just saying, okay, this is our cleaning stuff. It says here for scrapes and abrasions. You have an abrasion. And he just giggled. I guess it's a little fizzy and tickly and cold. So we got it cleaned up. No worries. Jax probably would have sobbed at the thought of me coming at him with a cotton pad when he was little. Oh, Sicky like downstairs and the motorcycle's going by and nobody's with him. Um, are they just sitting out there? Poor Ziggy's down there alone and there's like a motorcycle. Oh, it's right out front. Yeah, great. Hmm. I am so sorry. This is so loud. So yeah, I got him cleaned up. He had a few bites of a popsicle. I put it back in the freezer and now they're up here. I'm going to cut this short because you don't want to hear the barking and I need to go talk to the dog. Good night, guys. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And don't forget to wash your hands.